All right, guys, we are on the, not Minecraft server, but we're doing a private server for Sky Factory 2.5. And as you can see, I am playing with another guy. I'm doing a little collab. This is spelled wrong. This is not Darth Timus, but instead, Tim, welcome. I am joined with you. Look, I'm going to sign in while you chat. Yay, what is up, everybody? This is Darth Timanis here, and I am looking forward to playing some Sky Factory. Oh, uh no. Now this server's fresh. Uh, okay, here we go. So, oh, lag a little. There we go. I'm in. I'm in. Got to get the the loading loading lag out of the way. Yes. So I'm going to explain a little bit of uh, Sky Factory to some of my viewers because they've only seen vanilla Minecraft. But I figured, do you want to do this work here while I explain some stuff? Yeah, I'll do the work while you talk. <laughs> yeah. How's that sound? Is that, that a good deal? Yes. So okay. let, let's be clear. This is actually not our first attempt at doing this. <laughs> so we, we actually got a little ways in and then we realized there were settings wrong. And so we had to, we decided, you know what, let's just scrap it. It was a good first round. We, let's try this again. So some of these stories are going to be familiar to us because we've already had them. But you know what? That's okay. That is okay. All right. And, I'm getting... So Try people, not to leave you. So yeah, is it slowly decays? So people that don't know Sky Factory, the idea behind it is you're given one tree and one piece of dirt, and that's it. And you have to make this elaborate and amazing place with just this. Now, what I will say is this is modded Minecraft, so it's not just vanilla Minecraft of how in the world are you going to do anything? You can't get any resources. Um, you're going to just have one piece of dirt, and then everything else is going to be wood that's not the case uh we have some special tricks up our sleeves but yes we do it's very it's very difficult especially initially that's a bunch of a grind session and tim you are putting out on a platform because if we do not get any saplings it's game over let's just go home it is i have not got any yet have you me either and it's not good all right cross our fingers is it ever possible oh Got one. Yeah. Is it possible to uh, for a tree to never give a sapling? It is possible. Is it? It really? is. Yeah, it is rare, uh, but it is possible. Ooh, that literally would be game over for us. So, is there literally yep. only one sapling? There is literally only one sapling. So, if you didn't have a wooden plank right here on the very edge, it would have fallen yeah. off. <laughs> it would have. It so, certainly would have. We have a thing. We probably should just wait. We grow. should wait. Yeah, you want to wait? Just wait. Just wait. Wait. Wait a little bit. Wait, wait a little bit longer. Huh. It's bone mealing. I'm going to will this to happen <laughs> right now. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. That was so much that faster happened. than normal. Yeah. Oh, so, that's crazy. So the people that don't know, you can actually uh, make things grow just by, I guess we're calling it twerking. So you just yeah. shift up and down, up and down, up and down. And actually, if you just move really fast near them, like if you run around them, it'll do the same thing. It yep. it's, picks up the motion, but Oops. twerking's the funnest way to do it. Plus, you have a nice little style that we'll do. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's those. I'm going to try to hang out out here. So you are kind of a king at Minecraft. I am... Still, even after a temporary run through the novice in this process. <laughs> I don't know if I would call myself a king. You are the guru of the two of us, that is, is for sure. I've I've done this uh, modded thing for a while. I got to the point to where um, I played Minecraft a whole lot whenever it first came out on the Xbox. And for some reason, once I got the computer version of it, um, modded Minecraft really has kind of hit the scene um, and just seeing all the different things that you could do, the different machines. Um, once I started playing modded Minecraft, I didn't want to go back to vanilla. Please tell me you got a sapling. I got, I got a sapling. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been bad. <laughs> I sort of missed everything you just said because there was nothing <laughs> in my hands. Oh no. <laughs> Yes, you are the king of it, at least in my eyes, and um, you actually have done a YouTube channel where you talk about... <gasps> Please tell me you got something. 
<laughs> this is so <laughs> heart wrenching. The suspense is oh, killing you. I just watched oh. it go over the edge, and I'm like, oh. yeah. All right. Well, before here, let's plant this. Let's okay. try not to do anything until we expand the platform out just a, I'll do a, other a little bit more. Yeah, that way we don't have a bad incident happen. So, anyways, you have a YouTube channel. You've done a lot of mining, have a YouTube mining channel. Minecraft on it. It's where they go mm-hmm. to watch if they want to watch. Uh, Darth Tamanis, all one word, uh, youtube.com backslash or slash Darth Tamanis. Cool. And I've done uh, a bunch of different packs. Agrarian Skies is probably the closest to this, um, but I've done a couple Feed the Beast packs, Resonant Rise, which is a great mod pack. Um, I've done Attack of the Bee Team, which is a lot of fun. Um, even ran a modded server for a while. Nice. Which is what we're doing now, so that we can continue to play as we go along. And we're gonna we kind of talked about this last time, the idea of doing a just good setup for trying to sorry, you got echoes in the back here. I can't think and hear at the same time. Um the idea of trying to do like all the different achievements and whatnot, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. We've got the yes. little book here, the achievement book that lists all the things we need to go through. Yes. Which, you have yours? I have mine. Okay, I'm going to check mine off the edge. Okay. Goodbye. I'm going to put mine in this chest so we don't lose it. Sweet. Assuming nobody vein mines off the thing. <laughs> So as you guys can see, I've been chopping wood at a drastic pace and cutting leaves down. You can actually do something called vein mine where you hit a block and if it, there's same blocks right beside it, it will automatically go ahead and knock those down as well. Here's that wood if you want it. And so the idea is you can just speed mine through a lot of this stuff and you don't have to take as long as you would typically do in a normal server kind of a thing. Like I said, the first initial part is a lot of grinding, which is okay. A whole lot of grinding. Part of the fun of it. Yeah. Which is really, it just is such an, it feels like such an accomplishment once you get to the middle and the end parts of it. <laughs> once really you get like the that. cobble, the cobblestone generator going, you're, you're cooking with fire. So. Yeah. Absolutely. Woo. So our first objective, what do you think our first objective should be? Oh, man, that's a good question. Um, I, mean, I think definitely getting, getting things set up so we can start just making cobblestone. Okay. Um, and sifting. And getting some barrels ready for water. Hopefully it'll rain. Cool. What, very what uh, biome are we in? We are in plains, so we should get rain. Cool. I've done this before and oops, whoops. Yo, no. <laughs> I've done, I done this before. I accidentally. <laughs> where I was in the desert biome and I didn't realize I was in the desert biome until mm, like 50 days had passed, 40 days. And <laughs> at the end of it, like I've had, I had no water. I had tons of wood. I had tons of cobblestone, but I did it the hard way. And then finally, I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to reset the server and try to get into a different planes because this is just not worth it. Yeah, if you, don't, if you don't have water, it's like there's not much you can do. Yeah, you're just kind of stuck for a really long time. And it can rain into the desert, but it's just so infrequent. All right. All right I'm going to make a few more barrels. Cool. So the barrels will catch the rain whenever the water comes down. What else can we do with the barrels? Um, with the barrels, you can take things like saplings. You can take um, rotten flesh. You can take apples. Pretty much anything that's living and let it compost, and it'll turn into dirt. Mm -hmm. And so then one thing that we were going to want to do very soon is get another thing of, of dirt going so that we can get more trees um, going very swiftly. Cool. So kind of just as a show you guys, if you put the saplings in, 
and it turns green and as you can see it's composting four five seven nine that'll eventually turn to dirt and then we'll be able to get that and you're putting the um, wood slabs over it because the ones that have the wood slabs over it it prevents if it does rain um, prevents rain from getting in there so these will be the ones that we'll use to make dirt and these will be the ones to collect rain um, you need at least two or three um, you know just for water um, hopefully you can get an infinite block set up from that because if you don't if you have water in there you can't put any um, stuff to can't compost any... yep so we officially have dirt pop it out of there and we have dirt. there you go i'll let you design that i love it all right we'll put it right one two three right one two three right there <laughs> so you have a bit of a strategy with this because there's a, a sweet spot for this there is a sweet spot you want to get the the saplings about three blocks apart um, so then whenever you get them all around you you can just stand in the middle um, and torque and then it'll speed up all four of the saplings that you are able to reach nice. I think you could probably do more I think there's a more like you can add more in there it's just kind of the sweet spot that I found to be able to move well and sure see what you're doing well and if the trees are too close they won't grow so there is that issue yep. too yeah all right so I need to get a rook and then I'm going to start um, doing some special stuff you can create a rook for yourself it's kind of like what, what would a rook be like in real life I have no idea what it would be in a real life like a, what do you think it would be I'm not sure. I was just thinking of like what maybe they use to get apples off trees or something like that. Yeah, I, I guess so, yes. Yeah, sure. Kind of a long stick. Do you want a crook? Sure. Yep. There you go. Cool. Just for you. Awesome. And the idea is you use it up here and you get actually more saplings and do you really not produce okay. any? <laughs> more I'll saplings show... and do it again. <laughs> Let's try it again. You also get uh, something called silkworms. And the silkworms are going to be important, A, because you can eat them. And you saw, you kind of see in my hunger bar that there's something special down there. I'll describe here in a second. But then also, um, you can use the silkworms to create string. Let's see. And string is amazing. Wait, something's going on here. That's the second tree and it didn't get anything from it. Hmm. Weird. Do we have... Do we have a sapling? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, got, I mean, I have 40 saplings. I just mean I didn't get okay. any silkworms. Ah. Which is kind of surprising. It is surprising. What the chances are. I don't know. Oh, and make sure you put a sapling in the... the ah, yes. <laughs> the chest, just in case. Your worries of never worries. getting a sapling again. Yes. Well, it's, it's that, you know, you, you use the sapling that you have on you to make dirt. But if you accidentally dump all of them in the barrel, you have no more saplings. Yep. So you're out of luck. Here's the silkworm. Um, I know that we want to make a tree for the saplings, or mm -hmm. for the silkworms, to get infested. Yep. Awesome. So we'll get some silkworms in there and then they'll turn what they do is they turn the tree white and with that they'll eventually turn the leaves themselves into just string which who knows what the, the pretend science behind that is but <laughs> and then as i said before we got that hunger bar down below so not only is there the hunger but then we also calling the yellow part the saturation where if you eat a lot of food and eat more than what is needed or it ha the food has a high saturation value to it then you actually I think it's if if I'm correct it's basically just more hunger is that right yes yeah it, it's more it lasts longer it's more saturated yeah I have a crook I don't know why I'm doing <laughs> that by hand yeah you know 
Do you need something? Yeah, I'm... This is just the good old grind here. Got a lot of wood. Yes. And at this point, it's not, it, the wood is great, but the better part of this is now we will have a ton of saplings so we can continue to make the dirt. That's really, at this point, why I keep going and going and going. The more you get, the more you can do with the dirt. Yep. You can use the dirt to make cobblestone. You can use the cobblestone to... Uh, sift through and get different different ores from I mean all sorts of things that you get just from the dirt and then of course we'll need to eat it sometime true so the dirt will be good to give us ground to make food on yay food <laughs> which right now the silkworms you can't eat but if you do cook them up you will be able to eat them you will. So not only are we going to make dirt so that we can plant stuff, but we also got to make dirt so that we can sift the dirt. And we'll probably we probably won't get to that this episode, but pretty soon we'll show you a lot of that stuff as well. Nice. Cool, cool. All right, let's make some more crooks. Boom. I don't know about you, but I feel like the axes, at least initially, just don't seem worth it to use because then once they break, then you got to make more. Yeah. What do you feel? I I, I just prefer them. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm fine making them because I can plant another tree and make another one. Sure. It's just that, like you know, few seconds of difference of you standing there punching a tree and yeah, you standing there chopping it down well swiftly with your beautiful wooden axe i guess that where that's where you want to spend time do you want to spend time making the wooden axe or you want to spend time wasting it with that extra time punching a tree i'll make yeah i'll make you an axe you want an axe nah make you an axe I like i'll punching make trees. you an axe punch those trees I'm taking after bruce lee punch 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 hey -ya! grinding uh, yes which i actually kind of it's very cathartic for me oh yeah i think i shared this before but the idea of um just sitting here at least for me and just kind of sitting here doing this stuff has been really fun um i didn't i didn't share this with anybody but you are actually one of the members of the church mag minecraft server yeah and you have a little house pseudo house i guess yeah, I've got a house there, and uh, haven't haven't been in a while. Um, but yeah, built a, a ha nice house on a hill. And oh, which reminds me, I apologize. I may have been beside a creeper. Uh oh, near your farm. Uh, what? And a bl little bit of it blew up. I still oh, need no. to fix it. I still need to yeah. fix some of it. How long is it? How long has it sat there? Uh, blown up. I think just like two days. Okay. I just haven't gotten to it. Yeah, that's not bad. So I gotta get to that real quick. Did you need those sticks? No. Yeah. No, I don't need them. They're all yours. Punch wood. All right. So I think the next episode we need to get some cobblestone. How about that? That sounds like a plan. Co uh cobblestone and maybe even some silk got three more dirts here we go i'll give them to you should we do an achievement see what we got let's see welcome to sky factory 2 a mod pack by bacon donuts yada 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 skip 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 so first one wooden age which, by the way, when you were talking about the Stone Age, I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, okay, I, I guess I understand sort of what that is. I didn't even know there was ages within this. Uh, there it is. Yeah. So, the first one, use a crook on leaves to get saplings and a silkworm. Check. Gun it. Make dirt by com composting saplings in an oat barrel. Check. 
on it. And then we're going to next infest the leaves with the silkworm. We got to get to that. And then use a crook on those leaves to get string. And then craft a sieve. Mm -hmm. And maybe maybe we'll get lucky and we'll collect rainwater in an oak barrel. That would be really nice. Yeah. So that'll be next episode. We're already going to town on this. I think, yes, we are. I think we will get there, man. So we're going to leave these at, what, 20-minute episodes? You're probably going to cut your stream line yours down a little bit whenever. Yeah, yeah, 20-minute episodes Sweet. should be good. Awesome. Well, I think we should leave it off here. Yeah, it's a good place. All right, man. You're stepping on the saplings. You're going to suffocate. Oh, no. Jeez. Oh. Oh, First damage of the server. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, <laughs> glad it was, I'm glad it was me. <laughs> oh, you did it to yourself again. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we will be back next time. See you later. Bye bye. See ya. Guys, this has been a pleasure playing with you. I'm going to end it with this win. Maybe it was still a fluke, but I've got the wins in. I like this deck. It's much more tempered. Uh, you, you